welcome to Lord of the Vets, where I've done the research so you don't have to. Don't talk to Dr. Google, talk to a real one. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about crossbreeds and why I think you should buy a crossbreed dog. So I'm here with Poncho. As you can see, he's having a snooze. He's a Finnish Laphund crossed with a German Shepherd. He's an absolute beautiful little boy, isn't he? He's very peaceful, very sweet. So the Finnish Laphund actually originated up in the far north of Finland. It was bred by the Saomi people for herding reindeer. That's why they've got such long fur to keep them warm in the snow. So these breeds are actually quite healthy in themselves, but they do get some eye issues, which are genetic. But Poncho being crossed with a German Shepherd instantly has a reduced chance of these eye problems actually coming through. So I'm very keen on prevention rather than cure when it comes to diseases. So where does the disease actually start? Is it the onset of arthritis when the first cell becomes inflamed, the first issue of the joint, or the, is it at the origin of, you know, the first cell dividing in a cancerous cell? Well, actually, in many cases, you can take it all the way back to genetics. So some of these genetic issues that affect animals' health include skin allergies, food allergies, many different types of cancer, especially skin tumors, hip problems, elbow problems, eye issues such as blindness, cataracts, and also deafness. The list goes on and on and on. There's many, many diseases which are related to genetics, and we see a lot of them at the vet clinic. So why is it better to have a crossbred than a purebred animal when it comes to genetics? Well, it's actually quite simple. You know all those jokes you make about hillbillies, inbred hillbillies? It's because the more closely related two individuals are, the more likely they are to, to express genetic diseases. And this isn't just the same with humans. It's, it's also the case with dogs too. So as hard as breeders try to take genetics from different families often because you live in one particular city in one particular country often in many cases these purebred animals have actually been bred to distant relatives and unfortunately sometimes the cases they've been bred to closer relatives than what they should be and i'm not saying this is always the case with purebred dogs um, and there are some very big cities with very wide populations within the particular breed but in many cases they've been bred too closely. When you buy a mixed breed dog, you're instantly diversifying the genetics that you're getting. So why do closely related animals, or humans for that matter, have more genetic diseases? Well, for you to understand this, you need to think back to when you're in high school and you drew those Punnett squares with the alleles from the mum and the alleles from the dad. Basically, more genetic diseases are expressed through recessive alleles. Having a dominant allele in either the mum or the dad, in many cases will mask the genetic disease. So the more distantly related two animals are, the more likely it is that one of them will have one of these dominant alleles that will mask the recessive allele which is holding the disease. So if two animals are very closely related, it's more likely that their chromosomes are gonna be lined up with very similar genetics and have recessive alleles in the same spot on that chromosome, and that means the disease will be expressed. But it's really important to understand that when you're choosing the breed of your dog. If you're choosing a breed that has been inbred too much or has come from a very small population, you're more likely to get some of these genetically expressed diseases. When I worked in Canada, I was working in a very busy small animal clinic there over the summer, and I would say about 80% of the animals I saw had a disease that was related to their genetics. So imagine how much healthier the dog populations could be if more crossbred dogs were purchased and encouraged. If you're not somebody who's like, really, I really want a particular breed, you've wanted it your whole life, I really wanted an Australian Shepherd, I've really wanted a German Shepherd, whatever it is, if you're somebody that just wants a dog of a certain size, maybe certain color, certain temperament, choose a few breeds that you like, like with those characteristics, and see if you can find a crossbred dog that has some of those breeds in it. Because your, your animal's gonna be much more likely to have less issues throughout its life, 
and a healthy, happier, longer life. Really hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have any more questions, please comment below and I'm happy to answer your questions about why you should get a crossbreed dog. Thank you for listening. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Peace out. Bye, Poncho. Say bye, Poncho. Ooh.